Good morning. This is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks Ministry. It is December the 18th, 2019, about 5.43 in a.m. in the morning. I'm already at work. I usually get here early. I start around uh, 6 a.m. most of the time. Sometimes I do start at exactly at 5.30 a.m., but I just wanted to share some good news. Um, I received um, an update on my health product um, which dissolves cancerous tumors um, it's called Genesis 129 based on uh, God's instructions in the Bible I have two minerals that God showed me how to put together and he gave me the dosages and what it does it dissolves cancerous tumors so I'm very excited about that because that particular product will go on the market soon within the next couple of weeks um, I was actually uh, waiting for the health laboratory to uh, retrieve a particular mineral that I requested. Um, God was very specific on the combination. So um, the health laboratory didn't have that particular nutrient in their laboratory, so they had to do a special order. Um, so the order, the, the product came in, the order was, uh, completed. So now they're in the, the health lab is in the comp, in the process of putting my product together. Um, I teamed up with a health laboratory by the name of NutriCap in, uh, Georgia. Very excited over the summertime of 2019. Um, my youngest daughter and I took a tour of the health laboratory. I wanted to make sure that it met quality standards because my name is behind the product. I also had an opportunity to meet the owner of the company. The owner of the company took me on a personal tour and I got a chance to find out how his company was even created, you know. So because of his thought process, it gave me an opportunity to create something so special for the world. So, you know, I gave him a personal thank you and enjoyed the tour and felt really good about my product coming through their uh, lab, through that laboratory. So, very excited about that. Um, to me, giving to people, being a blessing to people, um, is what I like to do, not only during the Christmas season, but like all year long. I just like to give and do something good uh, for the world. I always knew that I would do something that had meaning. Uh, it has to have meaning. I can't just get out there and just willy-nilly just be doing stuff. I have to uh, make sure that I'm, number one, in alignment with the will and plan of God for my life. So, you know, I'm seeking God, asking him what he wants me to do. And God actually spoke this word for me to create the health product. I was already telling people what to do and what to buy and how to help their body heal and what their body was missing, what they were deficient in. And I went to a church. I went to a church, okay, in Georgia. And on, on my vacation, and when I went there, the man and woman of God, they flow in prophetic gifts. And I was given a prophetic word to create this health product. So um, I just stepped out by faith and obeyed God. Creating a health product wasn't even on my mind. I was just telling people what to do. But the man of God who gave me the prophetic word, along with his wife who gave me a prophetic word, um, was stated that this health product was going to heal people, bless people's body, and God was going to reward me financially. And anybody who follows my ministry knows that I don't like anything dealing with money games, uh, you know, begging for money, uh, pimping people for money. That's just not my relationship with God. I prefer, I prefer to use my faith. I prefer to pray and talk to God, have God direct me. My ministry is not even based on donations. If people want to give, they can. Um, but my ministry is based on pure faith of God. Um, I don't preach for payment. 
Um, you know, if God wants to reward me that way, that's fine. People can bless me, you know, that way. But I preach out of obedience. I serve God out of obedience. I serve humanity um, out of obedience, especially since everything that Jesus did for us and and the father sacrificing his own son to come to the earth and be mistreated and you know all the stuff that Jesus went through I mean my goodness the least I can do is to serve God with my whole heart and mind without money being attached now I know when you walk in obedience God rewards you financially he rewards you spiritually he rewards you in all kinds of areas I'm just careful not to do anything that I'm seeing right now currently in the world uh, regarding ministry and regarding people in the secular world. I, I don't do my ministry like that. I make sure my ministry is lined up to the ministry of Jesus Christ, okay? I base my ministry on that, and there's like nowhere in the Bible where I can find that Jesus preached for his father for payment. I can't find anywhere in the Bible where Jesus uh, released miracles for payment. Although people willingly gave to Jesus' ministry because they were getting results. I believe if people are not getting results, nobody should be getting paid for doing anything. Okay? So, again, I want to go back to this uh, health product that God gave me. This health product came directly from God. It's been a blessing. There was a lady who came to my ministry. Her name is Debbie. Her, she's been a friend of the family for years. She's a former student of my aunt. My aunt sent her to me. Debbie was diagnosed with terminal colon cancer. Okay? Told her she was going to die. At work. Over the telephone. Okay? That's how inhumane that whole thing situation was. So... You know, I received a telephone call at work. I was in the middle of a project. I couldn't talk right then. But I said these words on the telephone before I called her back when I got home. I said, listen here, Debbie, you're not going to die. You're going to live. You're going to declare the works of the Lord. God gave me the cure for cancer. And I'll share it with you. Now, Debbie could have said, uh, this girl don't even know what she's talking about. This sounds crazy. And if there's a cure, how come nobody talking about it? Well, listen. Dr. Sabi, I interviewed Dr. Sabi. He was a world-renowned uh, natural healer, okay? This man had been curing, uh, working and curing cancer for years, okay? He just didn't get the recognition that the medical establishment wanted to give him, although they did uh, take pull him into court, and they told him he had to show proof that people were getting healed from certain diseases. He brought in proof from... You know, hospitals and doctor's offices where people were getting healed in uh, the United States of America dropped their charges against him. But, you know, the cure's been out there for a long time. And there's different ways to be cured. God has so many different ways to heal people. My way is just one way. Dr. Sabi's way is a way. I mean, there are just so many, there's so many ways for God to bring an answer. God just happened to choose me to bring um uh two minerals together uh to be a blessing uh to the world that's missing out of most people's bodies because people are deficient in minerals okay so this stuff that god is giving me i'm just turning around and blessing the world with it i'm following the instructions of god okay and um, you can go out to www.nurselois that's l o i s dot com and look at my product website. I also have a ministry website attached to it. I'm going to have some other information attached to it as well. And uh, share this knowledge. Let people know there, there are options. Oh, yeah. Debbie took my, my product. Okay. Three cancerous tumors dissolve within three weeks. I have the before and after oncology reports. Um, what what the uh, cancers look like. How 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 big they were the size of them the blood work the labs all of that and then i have the test results of what happened after she took my product they could not even find the cancer okay so i just want to let you know that i am on an a mission and on an assignment to obey god to do what God has called me to do in the earth so whatever it is that God has called you to do be about your father's business 
Stay focused. Don't let anybody's doubt or unbelief tell you you can't do it. Because if God asked you to do something, he believes and he knows that you have the ability to do it. And to carry out the instructions that he gives you. So this is Lois Banks coming to you again from the Lois Banks Show. I just want to give you an update on my product entitled Genesis 129 based on the word of God. Um, and be, look for this um, nutrient to come out on the market soon. I'm very excited about that. I'm being ex I'm excited to serve God in such a special way. And then, you know, a lot of people know that I flow in signs and wonders too. So I release the the power of God for miracles, blind eyes opening up, deaf hearing, lame walking, um, body parts, you know, legs growing out. So, you know, God has taught me how to master the natural laws and the spiritual laws. You have to master both realms. Child of God, you have to master both realms. So uh, this is Lois Banks coming to you from the Lois Banks show, uh, show. Be about your father's business. God bless you.